Now let's do a question. Moon revolves around the Earth, making a complete revolution in 27.3 days. Assume orbit is circular and it has a radius r, which is equal to 238,000 miles. What is the magnitude of the force exerted on the Moon by the Earth? So this question is saying that we have the Earth and we have the Moon that goes around the Earth. And it gives us, so this is my Earth, right? I'm just going to make a random Earth. And this is a moon that goes around it. And it says that the revolution of the moon around the Earth takes about 27.3 days. And the question gives me that the radius of this orbit is 238000 miles. Okay, now it's asking me, what is the magnitude uh, of, of force exerted on the moon by the Earth? Okay, first things first, I know that the magnitude of this force is going to be equal to mv squared over r, which is excellent, right? So all I have to do is find the m of the moon, the velocity of the moon, and the radius of the moon that I need. Awesome. Now, this is going to be sigma fx, right? So, what is the mass of the moon? Well, I can look up in the appendix what the mass of the moon is, and that, according to appendix C, is 7.36 times 10 to the 22 kilograms, right? Okay, well, that's good. However, they've given this to me in days and this to me in miles. Now, what do I do? Well, I need to be able to convert these to SI units. For days, I need to convert this to seconds. And for these, I need to convert them to meters. So let me do that. So if my revolutions, which is going to be my T, is going to be 27.3 days, how many hours? 24 hours in one day. Oops. Times... How many hours? There is 60 minutes in an hour. And then there are 60 seconds in a minute. See, so the days get canceled, the hours get canceled, the minutes get canceled, and my answer comes out to be in seconds, which is, I believe, 27.3 times 24 times 60 times 60 and the answer will come out in seconds. So I have my revolutions, which is the time that it takes for the moon to come around, um, that will actually be equal to also the period, right, which I can call t. Good. The second one is how do I convert the radius, okay? So radius miles into minute, miles into meters, so it's going to be 23800, zero, zero, one more zero, miles, how many miles in a meter? 1609 meters in a mile, right? The miles go away, and your answer is going to come out to be in meters, okay? Once that is solved, it's excellent. So now I have this. Um, I have that. However, I do not have this. Now what do I do? I'm going to be in trouble. I don't have that. But I do know something. I know that this velocity is given by distance over time, right? So distance, speed is given by distance over time. That actually is going to be really useful because this is going to be 2 pi r over t. Excellent. Now I can plug this value in here, what do I get? m 2 pi r divided by t divided by r again, right? And a square. So I can get a 4 pi squared m of the moon, right? Mass of the moon, divided by radius of the moon, r of the moon squared divided by t. 1 goes away, and I can get... 4 pi squared mass of the moon radius of the moon divided by t. Now I have everything I need in order to solve this. So I'll just have 
put in the mass of the moon that I got from Appendix C. So this I got from Appendix, Appendix C in your book. Put it in. Radius of the moon they've given you, which you can convert. And period they've also given you, which we just converted. Plug the answers in and come up with an answer. And I'll leave that up to you guys.